Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Ants Dimensions reality update video, episode 25. And, okay, I, I need to go for more achievements here. There's Don't You Dare Sleep, which I can't really get yet. But the other thing is the anti-tables achievement. I've kind of overlooked this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into challenge 8. And I am going to, I think all my auto buyers, well no, I just, I just need the 8th dimension auto buyer. I'm going to I'm going to go through the first few dimension boosts just like normal. And oh my god, that's insane. Okay, just complete the challenge at this point because wow, I it is so much faster than I think it is. Just get to 5 dimension boosts and then don't hold M. So just do this. By the bare minimum I need here and the real the real problem with anti tables is is the upgrade here the infinity point thing the first answer i mentioned based on unspent infinity points i can buy this upgrade to nerf it but it's only gonna nerf it a little bit i also can turn my tick speed auto buyer on which i probably should because there's no reason why i shouldn't be using my tick speed auto buyer and somehow sacrifice i'm not actually sacrificing wait I turned on the wrong auto buyer. I turned on my first dimension auto buyer rather than my tick speed auto buyer. I'm stupid. Whatever. Just honestly, now that I know, I can just sacrifice like a whole bunch. And okay, this is good. I should also do buy singles because of the first dimension. And now I can buy until 10. So buy all the eighth dimension stuff. Buy enough second dimensions to go over the first. Same with the third and the fourth and the fifth, sixth, and the seventh. Is this enough? Boom. There we go. Anti tables. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get that one until I broke infinity, but nope. I'm still able to do it. Now, the other one I need to go for is the potato one, which I need to go into challenge 10 for this. So. Challenge really isn't a challenge anymore. I just need to get three galaxies. That's all I need to do. And then I'll get the achievement. Well, and the real problem is me accidentally completing the challenge trying to get the three galaxies because, because everything is so fast right now. And also my dimension boosts are not reset, which I'm not used to. Um, come on. A few more. 270. And then just, just buy tick speed upgrades. Okay, there we go. Faster than potato. Last achievement. Well, okay, I still need no DLC required, which is I just need to get the last infinity upgrade for that. And this is where the grinding begins. Because of just how Yeah. Infinity points, while they are relatively quick, I'm still only getting four every infinity. That is not increasing. It will not increase until I get the 500 infinity point upgrade. Oh wait, no, it's 300. That was a change. I'm actually now glad they changed that because that that upgrade was a pain to get. And just especially because the really good upgrade it, of the infinity point multiplier was locked behind it. And actually it's through this achievement that it's locked behind it, which is interesting. It used to be not. It used to be still locked behind it, but it wasn't through the achievement. It was, I guess, its own separate thing. The other thing I can do is start upgrading these all buyers. Most notably, the galaxy and dimension boost one. I think those are the most important. If I can get this down to, I don't know, like 1.56 seconds. I just spent a whole bunch of infinity points on that, but that is now probably fast enough for every infinity. I should probably also turn the rest of these auto buyers on. Because there's no real reason for them to be off. I should also get the Big Crunch auto buyer on. I also want to get Dimension Boost auto buyer. So I can... I'm going to limit it to 5 here. So I can buy Dimension Boost. I, I, I want this one to be pretty quick. So now... Well, actually, I need to enable it first. That's pretty important. So now I can just... I can just spam whatever the big crunch button is, and do it and get infinities done every like 1.3 seconds. 
which is telling me I should probably speed up my speed up my Galaxy Auto Buyer again, and probably my Dimension Boost Auto Buyer. So this is a, it's about a second to get to Infinity. So I'm getting probably about three Infinity points a second, or a hundred and eighty a minute. So that means that I'll be able to get the upgrade in just one minute. So see you then. Okay, there we go. We can get the upgrade now. And another notable thing here is that these upgrades are now up to a hundred times multipliers based on all the infinities I have. I I have 496 infinities. I don't know how I didn't get a multiple of five on one, but whatever. I, I'm not going to care. So this is going to crucially unlock the infinity point multiplier. It's also going to make the infinities a lot faster because I start at four dimension boosts and I started a galaxy. So this means I don't actually need to... Well, actually, I don't want the galaxy auto buy. I don't, I don't want a second galaxy. So now I'm able to get eight infinity points in just half a second. My fastest infinity is 560 milliseconds. And actually, I can get even more than that. I can get the next infinity point upgrade. Now I'm getting 16 infinity points in the same time. And you can just see... Look at the numbers here. The upgrade numbers is increasing, like for the infinities and the multiplier for the first and third dimensions based on my unspec infinity points. So this will make the runs even quicker. The other thing I'll eventually want to do is start getting the crunch auto buyer down. And it does cost a lot of infinity points. I just spent all of them on getting it down to 1.5 seconds, which isn't exactly the fastest. I'd want it at most the same amount of time as the infinities are taking, which is about half a second. So I'm probably gonna need to get two more of these upgrades. But now I can get this upgrade, another infinity point multiplier. So now I'm getting 32 infinity points with every crunch, which means that, yeah, things are gonna, well, Things are actually slowing down in the grand scheme of things because of how grindy it is to unlock Break Infinity. But despite this, I will power through, I will get the next two upgrades, so now it's taking 0.54 seconds um, for this auto buyer to activate. But it looks like I actually am crunching faster than that, so that means I probably want one, just one more of these upgrades, and then it'll be faster. So here we go. Now it's a third of a second. We can go here. We can see how long it's taking. It's taking about 0.4 seconds to infinity. Seems like it's taking either 12 or 13 frames at 30 frames per second. I don't know why there's really a variance. It's I don't I don't really know that, but whatever. As we're doing this, I can see if there's any achievements I can go for. I could try to get this. The this is fine achievement. Complete the tick speed auto buyer. Um, challenge of three minutes or less. It used to be, I think, called Is This Hell? And they changed it to this. So, yeah, that's there's that's that. There isn't really any other achievements I can go I can get. Unfortunately, this is still impossible. I I didn't. I was thinking about like the achievements a lot, but I I wasn't thinking that this one would be just a pain because of how it's literally a pure time gate. But now, as I get more infinity points and the upgrades get better, it's now taking either 11 or 12 frames, or under 0.4 seconds to get infinity points. You can see I'm getting about 5,000 infinity points per minute, but the big thing is going to happen when I get another infinity point multiplier upgrade. There's also the only while the new upgrade that is only while offline, gaining 50% of your best infinity points per minute, not using max all, but I'm not really going to be offline, so it's not exactly that important. So that's why I'm going to I'm just going to skip it. I'm I am getting hard for break infinity. So I think another thing I'm not sure if this is right due to the due to the reality update exactly or a previous balancing change was that it used to be that the automatic big crunch started at five minutes and now it is. It starts at two and a half minutes. So 
And that means it's actually only half the cost to break infinity. Which is good because this grind is stupid. So we're going to get this. It's going to cost two more of these upgrades. So I need a total right now of about 24,000 infinity points. Actually, I'll just get this just to see. One more upgrade. I need 1.64 E4 infinity points. I'm just going to do this off camera. In my opinion, break infinity shouldn't even be locked behind this auto buyer thing. It should be just like 5,000 infinity points as a as an upgrade. Just like how Replicanti is E140 infinity points. It should, it should just be the same thing for break infinity. But nope, it is this. Okay, finally, you get this upgrade, which means that for once, I can break infinity. So here we go, break infinity. Of course, that's going to give me a whole bunch of stuff. It also somehow gives me these automation stuff, even though I never actually bought anything. That's probably a bug, actually. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go say it. It's a bug. So, well, anyway, it's time to turn the Galaxy Auto Buyer back on. And also... With the infinity points I can do, I should probably start buying some of these in bulk. So that that was a lot of infinity points, but we can get a thousand infinity points pretty easily. And this will allow me to get 16 times bulk buy on all these auto buyers. So now you can just see how much I'm, much I'm getting. Didn't even cost that much. So now we see how much am I getting? Unfortunately, I can't max Dimension Boost, so it's probably, it's, even though Galaxies don't reset Dimension Boost, it's still probably not a great idea to get Dimension Boosts. I probably just want stuff like this. I want these upgrades that will help me just get more Infinity Points per run. And also, this upgrade is actually a lot more powerful, or at least a little bit more powerful. It's not a lot more powerful, because, I mean, it's like, it's E4, it's like, about squared as much as what it would usually be but this is like based on total and it's matter produced e400 million yeah that's kind of pathetic actually but hey at least it's something here and i need everything i can do here so i think at this point i'm just gonna push for another infinity point multiplier there the just the regular old infinity point multipliers are they're surprisingly good I mean, actually, it's not so surprising. It's they multiply your main resource that you're going for by two, so that's yeah, you know, that's kind of important to get. So now I'm gonna get these two upgrades. These these should help a little bit. They're weaker than you might think, because at this point, this is where just flat answer and dimension multipliers just don't really help all that much. the The big thing here is I can get another galaxy, and that is going to help things a lot more it doubles infinity points that i gain and that's really good because there really isn't any other way to get infinity points other than through that so i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna buy this upgrade i'm gonna i'm going offline so that's why i'm buying it i, I want to get don't you dare sleep the other thing i'm gonna do is start buffing my automation i want to get i want to i want to get the 512 times bulk buy i, I want to get the bulked up achievement basically and this will allow me to, I mean, the bulk of achievement doesn't really do much. Ooh, I'm out of infinity points. Yeah, it actually does take a bit of infinity points to get this. Um, just get these, 128, um, 256. I just need the last one, which is about 35,000 infinity points each. So about three runs per upgrade. But there we go, bulked up. This gives me... Well, I don't think it gives me anything. It just oh, it just says Dimension Auto Buyer bulks are unlimited, so it means I don't have to buy those anymore, which is nice. There isn't really any other thing I can get. I could try to go for this assign, but I think a better thing to do at this point is well, actually try to do a run without using Max All. Why why are they so weak? Oh, it's because the tick speed auto buyer is buying singles. That's why that's why that's why my automation is so weak. So now I can just do this to power up the only while offline gain 
50% of your best infinity points per minute without using max all. So it's all the way up to 100,000 infinity points per minute. That's going to be pretty easy. And I'll be able to get don't eat or sleep while offline. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.